Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys Windscribe VPN, which in the free version can get you 15 gigabytes of data per month, which is actually very generous compared to a lot of options out there. Uh, supports a lot of different operating systems, including Linux. So currently I'm running on Manjaro Linux, which actually has an installer script in the Arch Linux user repository. So Ubuntu, Debian, Fedora, and Cent OS supported out of the box, but I'll be showing you guys the instructions uh, using Yaur and the AUR. Uh, also has browser extensions, supports phones, uh, TVs, routers, and in the pro version has support for OpenVPN, which is more of a manual configuration. So pretty cool package overall here. So over here on my account page, you can see, in fact, it is 15 gigabytes of free data. How you get that is you verify your email and then you send out a tweet on Twitter, obviously. Um, that gets you 15 gigabytes, so that's quite good. Now, in addition to that, I did find a really good deal out there on stacksocial.com to get a three-year subscription here. So three years VPN subscription, $22.50. Can't really get much of a better deal for a VPN than that. So I'm going to include a, this link down below for you guys. Also, if you just want to download the free version and try that out, I'll link the Windscribe website as well. So let's go ahead and show using the Windscribe tools. So on Linux, instead of using a GUI interface, you simply install it in the terminal as a terminal app. And once you've ran yaur dash s windscribe cli which would be what you would use for both arch linux and manjaro which is arch linux based it's going to install as windscribe which you can activate by opening up the terminal anytime you want to use it so if i hit windscribe you can see all the commands that are available for it the only ones you really need to worry about if you're just using it at a very basic level is windscribe login and then sudo windscribe connect best i'm going to include these down below as well so windscribe login like this uh, you just put in your username and password and then whenever you connect to Windscribe it's going to be using that account details so here by running Windscribe locations we can see a complete list of the servers available to you I believe that all of these grayed out servers are only available when you're actually uh, paying for it but uh, you do have quite a few to choose from even in the free version so if you want to connect to one of these specifically you would type and sudo Windscribe connect and then the acronym for the server so let's say us west of course make sure to type it in properly when you do it so it's going to be connecting to us west of course if you want to get the best most stable connection then generally you would just type in sudo windscribe connect best and hit enter um, after it says firewall enabled it should have connection established in a minute here so there we go our ip address has changed to the server's ip so if we go into the web and let's just do a quick test. I'll try target.com because they know that site is blocked here. So if it works, then we know we're behind the VPN. But also we'll do what's my IP for good measure. Okay, so to confirm that the IP address has changed and that everything is good, loading up target.com blocked over here where I'm at right now. But obviously since we're connected to the US servers and that's a US retailer, it's gonna go ahead and work. And the IP address on what's my IP matches the one in the terminal. So we're good, we're behind the VPN. So once again, if you wanna just try the free version, which gives you 15 gigabytes as long as you send a treat, you can do that at winscribe.com. And if you want to grab the three year subscription, there's a sick sale going on at stacksocial.com, which is 2250 for three years. So I'll include both of those links in the description. And I hope this video has helped you guys to find a VPN you can use whether or not you're currently on Linux. So I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my future video content.